to Olivia Studio. In our previous video, we learned about the dark and dismal period of the Middle Ages. Today, we will go through the confoundingly artistic period of the Renaissance, which literally means rebirth. During the 14th century, people started taking an interest in learning about ancient Greece and Rome. The Renaissance was a rebirth of these ancient cultures. Everyone, but mostly artists, tried to copy the ancient styles that marked the transition from the Middle Ages to Modernism. In the 14th century, the thought of humanism started to influence Europe. Unlike the constant religious themes in the Middle Ages, humanism was centered around human values and caused a major decline in religious beliefs. Because of this, artists rejected religious types of painting and started to create images in more realistic figures to show real emotion. And this has given birth to the artistic period of the early Renaissance. One of the major artists during the early Renaissance is Donatello. He was an Italian sculptor who was particularly good at portraying realism in his works. His sculptures were some of the first to perfectly represent human anatomy. One of his most famous creations was a brown statue called David, the first life-sized freestanding statue of the Renaissance. Other than this, he also made five statues for the Florence Cassandra, including his sculptures of St. George and St. Mark. was a 16th century trend, which was considered high because it is when the arts reached its peak during the Renaissance. Artists were influenced by a system called linear perspective, which is a technique used to create the illusion of depth on a flat surface. The first major artist during the high Renaissance was Michelangelo. He excelled as an artist and demonstrated a mastery of portraying the human figure. He was famous for his painting at the ceiling of Sistine Chapel, a project he finished in four years while standing on a scaffold. He was also an architect who worked on several Renaissance buildings that still can be seen today, such as St. Peter's Basilica and the Basilica di San Lorenzo. Another master painter during the High Renaissance was Raphael. Despite the trend in realism, he still created a lot of religious painting that he portrayed through most of his works. Since he was an extremely religious man and painted mostly for churches all over Italy. His most famous work of art was Transfiguration, which was the last painting he did before his death. Another world-renowned painting by Raphael is the School of Athens that features all the greatest mathematicians, philosophers, and scientists from the classical times gathered together sharing their ideas and learning from each other. By the age of 26, Raphael was already considered one of the most important painters in Italy. Because of his contributions as an artist, he was eventually knighted by Pope Leo X. Known as one of the greatest artists in history, Leonardo da Vinci was regarded as the ultimate Renaissance man. Only 15 of his paintings are still around today. Among these are his painting, The Mona Lisa and The Last Supper, which are now considered as a national treasure. The Mona Lisa has been recognized as the painting that has been seen widely written and sung in many songs, as well as the most imitated artwork in the world. Another painting by Da Vinci was The Last Supper. It is a picture of the Last Supper of Jesus and his disciples that shows how 
they react when Jesus said one of them would betray him. Leonardo wasn't just an incredible artist, he was also an inventor, scientist, and so much more. As an inventor, Leonardo is fond of drawing and writing in his journals and was said to have written over 13,000 pages of his ideas. His conceptual drawings included plans for musical instruments, war machines, calculators, boats, and many others. He is considered by many to be the father of modern science. You think you've heard of the names of these artists before? Well, here's a little fun fact. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo were named after these great artists who are most well-known masters of the Renaissance period. Late Renaissance art, also known as Mannerism, is a style of art that begins in the later years of the period. It can be described as a distorted and exaggerated form of the normal artworks, like elongation of the body parts of the subject. Titian was a leading artist of the late Renaissance, known for his perfection use of color and for his appealing display of the human form. He was famous for his painting, Assumption of the Virgin, which helped establish him as one of the leading painters of the period. The Renaissance produced some of history's greatest writers and works of literature. Authors began writing in their native language, and with the invention of the printing press in 1440, writers had a new way of expressing their views. Literature during Renaissance was influenced by Christianity, ancient antiquity, and politics. William Shakespeare was the most notable authors during the Renaissance and was considered to be the greatest writer of all time. He was credited with adding almost 3,000 words to English language through his works. He was best known for his plays and became one of the most well-known playwrights in England. Some plays he is well known for are Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, and A Midsummer Night's Dream. And that was it! for the art and literature during the Renaissance period. With the explosion of ideas, the Renaissance could be seen as an age of transformation and the revival of the arts, which gradually made artists shift to new styles that give birth to the art in the modern world. I'm glad you decided to join me for today's video. See you on my next one.